Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am continuing my... Continuing? Did I say that right? Continuing. Yeah, I think I said that right. I'm going crazy. Today I am continuing my tradition of talking about my jobs and my experience with those different jobs. So my last one was Dorney Park and now I'm going to be talking about my job that just ended um, like a few weeks ago. Uh, I was a volleyball coach and I was the club volleyball coach. I'm not going to say the club but if you really want to know you can probably find out pretty easily from all my social media but yeah anyways I just wanted to kind of talk about it and tell you guys my experience, what I learned and just overall like how it was so let's begin all right so i had two teams and kind of like a third one i did one tournament with them and like a few practices but like they weren't like my designated team so anyways i had two teams 13s and 15s overall it was such a great experience oh my god it was amazing like i miss it so much um uh, we had like a party for one of my teams at the end and i haven't seen like most of them since then so it's just like kind of kind of heartbreaking I don't know it was so much fun but anyways so let me kind of talk about like what I did this was not my first time coaching I coached like a few years ago at this like very like beginner volleyball club kind of thing I wouldn't even call it a club just like an organization but I have never coached like a club team before so this was very new to me I've played for years and I've like taught in like camps and that kind of stuff but I have never taught like a team like for an extended amount of time so this was like like I said very new to me and I was a little nervous but also like really excited okay so for my teams I had one team practiced Monday and Wednesday and the other one Tuesday and Friday so after Tuesday of the first week I'd already seen both my teams and I already loved them both so much so I was like a lot less like nervous about it and then after a few practices like I was completely fine like like, I kind of started to know all of them better, which is really important. It took me a while to, like, learn all their names, but that is so important because, like, it just makes it feel more like a team. Like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. It took me a, it took me a while to learn the names, but once I got the names, like, I felt so much more comfortable with them, and I think they felt more comfortable with me. I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> it is also very important to gain the trust of your players. Personally, I believe that that is the most important thing because you just want them to feel like they can really come to you about anything, like not even like volleyball related. A few people came up to me and just kind of told me like things that they didn't like and things that they wanted to improve. That's kind of the same thing. But anyways, like they would just come up to me and talk to me. That was good because I can try to help them and we can be on the same page. So yeah, that's very important as well. So let me tell you guys a few things that I learned throughout this whole experience. The number one thing I think is time management. Now, okay, so I'm a very busy person. I always have stuff to do, but this was very hard for me because it was my senior year of high school and I had all AP classes. So I had a lot of work and I had tennis. So like most of the time, okay, well I only had tennis for like a few months, but most of the time I would go to school, go to tennis, go to work, and then come home and have all my AP work to do. So it was a lot for me, but it also like helped me because I like figured out ways to get stuff done in like smaller amounts of time. So yeah, senior year is very stressful. If you guys have not been in senior year of high school yet or if you're coming into it, then like just be warned, it's very stressful. Um, but anyways, long story short, I was not in a good mood for some of the days, like all humans are. And so I kind of had to like push those feelings aside for an hour and a half while you had to practice and put on a smile. Nobody's perfect, everyone makes mistakes, the players, the coaches, everybody makes mistakes. I know I have made plenty of mistakes this year, but you know, such is life. Also, everybody learns a different way. I found that out very quickly. Once you get to know them more, you kind of realize what they're good at, what they're not so good at, and you learn how to help them more when you, like, know them more. <sighs> Alright, last year, I was a player for this same club, and my coach was always telling me, like, it's a lot harder to coach than to play. I didn't agree with him. Now I do. Um, I understand it's very hard to coach. Like, very, very hard. Oh my gosh, I remember this one time. I was getting picked up at my house at like 6 o'clock, right? And I woke up at like 5.56 in the morning and I was so upset because I couldn't shower or anything so I just got up I was like, oh my god, and I had to like get all my stuff together. Um, yeah, so it was very like stressful. You have to make things good, you know? You gotta make waking up at 5 in the morning or one time I think I had to wake up at like 4.30 or 4 a.m. in the morning. You gotta take the bad things in life, like waking up early, and mix them with good, like good car rides. So, yeah. 
That's what I learned as well. <laughs> Being a coach was also very tiring. I remember this one weekend, I had practice Friday night um, from like 7.30 to 9. So I didn't get back till like 9.30ish. And then I got my stuff together, I went to sleep. And then Saturday, um, I actually had two tournaments that I had to be at, but obviously I can only make it to one because both of my teams had a tournament on the same day. So I went to my sister's because if you guys didn't know, she was on my 13th team, so I was her coach. <laughs> but anyways, um, I went to my sister's and then I had to go to another tournament the next day and that was like the most tiring thing ever, oh my gosh, but it was a lot of fun, so yeah. <laughs> Overall, it was such a great experience, oh my gosh, I am so thankful that I got to become a coach this past year. It really did teach me so much, and I just, I made so many new friends too, because I didn't think of the players as just players, I thought of them as my friends, and also the other coaches, I became very close with them, and it was just so much fun, so much fun. Um, Oh my gosh, I just, I'm like heartbroken because it's over. I'm so upset. It went by so fast. All right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm going to keep on doing these kinds of videos. Like after each of my jobs, I have a job in the summer that's coming up. So I'm going to do that kind of like, you know, when it's over and just whatever other jobs I get because I think it's a lot of fun. And I like to like look back on these videos, you know, when I'm like 30 years old and I'm looking back and I'm like, oh, I remember that. But anyways, um, I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.